open. Start live streaming. Here's a button to press to go live. Use to video sources. Instagram live with video switching. The first video source is this Sony camera. Then the second video source is the iPhone image. I am in the process of explaining. We'll share the video in the iPhone. I can pass this video switcher. Then do a video switch. I'm going to demonstrate today. Instagram live that can do video switching. This live broadcast of teaching process. Then I will use two video sources. The first video source is a Sony's camera. This Sony camera is for moderator. I am the host. And then the second video source. This is the mirror video of this iPhone. During live broadcast, I will explain the inside of this iPhone. What's so interesting about this video? Then both video sources will connect to this one. Video switcher Atom Mini Pro. This video switcher Atom Mini Pro. And then connect its HDMI to my device to go live. Then let's take a closer look at the live broadcast. I don't have apps for my computer. I use this one. This is a tablet for live streaming. It's very special. Why? Because the general flat tablet PCS will have a front camera and a rear camera. It has no front lens and no rear lens. For example, there is an input of D1 here. It replaces the front lens. D2 input it replaces the rear lens. Then my game is very simple. Just put this camera and this. iPhone video is connected to this thought director. There is an HDMI output behind the thought switcher. This output. I'll connect the HDMI output to the rear lens of this. So when Instagram is doing live broadcast, when you just open the rear camera, he will capture the screen of this video switcher. Then you are doing a live broadcast. You can use the broadcaster to make a switch. In this way, let's not pick up the broadcaster first. We're just taking this camera first. If it's just a camera first, how to fill the video from the camera to the tablet? Very simple. You see there is an D1 and D2 behind it. So do I grab that rear shot? The rear lens is the port. I just put this. The HDMI connection of the camera is fine. There are three ways this tablet can connect. The first is the wired network. The second is this Wi-Fi. Oh, the third one is this SIM card. It is the SIM card of our mobile phone. So what we use today is wired network. Then let's download INS. There is a Google Play on Instagram. When you open it, you open Instagram. You just search Instagram. Good like this. Then what? After downloading, he will go to this Google space. Then you open the Instagram. Add. Live streaming. Oh, the picture at this time is from this camera. You see, then you pay attention to this picture. It seems like this. This is horizontal and our IG is doing direct viewing. So I'm going to turn this camera 90 degrees at this time. The screen is also presented at 90 degrees. Let's talk about this camera. After turning 90 degrees, how it will be shown on TV. Let's hook it up to TV. When my camera turns 90 degrees, it's HDMI connected to the TV. It'll be 90 degrees upside down like this. That's the same reason I want to connect. How about connecting an iPhone video source? Can my video source also make it presented on TV? Let's try this way. Is this an iPhone? Then this is the one. iPhone to iPad. If there is still a cable, I will connect it to the TV to see. When iPhone, when looking straight, I expected it to be like this on TV. But it turned out to be upright and fill in the black border left and right. It is different from our camera just now. Let the camera show you what it looks like. Oh, like this. How do I put my image of iPhone becomes like this. The whole scene is projected onto this TV. Let's introduce a product. This is mobile phone vertical portrait mode mirror adapter. It can look directly at the screen of your mobile phone. 
Render screen. Project to your TV. First connect your power supply. Then there is the ASPA interface here. This is your ASP phone cable. Take the iPhone as an example, it uses this. Lightning cable connects it up. Then connect it to your iPhone here. That's good. This side will output HDMI signal. I connect the HDMI signal to the TV. At this time, the picture of your iPhone is lying down. Full screen and turn right. Such a picture we can throw in this one. Video switcher. Okay, let's connect this device to this. Live box for everyone to see. Then the HDI output of the switcher. HDI connected to this tablet. To input. Let's open up this acoustic version of the Instagram app. It can be downloaded from this Google Play. Here you go to Instagram Live. Open. Start live streaming. Here's a button to press to go live. Start live. Today is sharing. Use to video sources. Instagram live with video switching. The first video source is this Sony camera. Then the second video source is the iPhone image. I am in the process of explaining. We'll share the video in the iPhone. I can pass this video switcher. Then do a video switch. Oh, channel 1 is Sony's camera. Then put this video switcher. Deconnect it to this particular tablet. Then this special tablet, we are in Google Play. Download this acoustic version of Instagram. This app, do a live broadcast directly on this Instagram.